Recent studies have shown that having a motivated, trained faculty is key when integrating simulation-based education in a curriculum, both in schools and universities and in healthcare institutions. Recent studies have shown that many of the simulators that have been bought are either underutilized or hardly used at all. One study called them the skeletons in the closet. It turns out that the lack of trained faculty or staff is the single most important factor leading to this lack of use. That's why a group of recognized European universities and industry leaders have developed a faculty development program for healthcare personnel involved in simulation. This solid, evidence-based program further develops skills and competencies in planning, running and evaluating simulation-based education. The program is called NestLED and it was developed with funding support from the European Union. The NestLED Faculty Development Programme is a blended learning approach to support your professional development. Let me show you how it all works. The programme comprises of four modules. The first module, Background to Simulation-Based Education, is an e-learning module, while the three other modules are blended learning, with some e-learning, but mostly face-to-face. Module 1 has important inputs to the rest of the programme and is completed prior to Module 2. Module 1 amounts to around three hours of work. Each of Modules 2, 3 and 4 are one full day. The output of Module 1 is a short workplace analysis that you will bring with you to Module 2, embedding simulation into practice. This module is focused on enhancing your simulation with the use of well-designed scenarios. The outcome of Module 2 will be a scenario designed to help educate students or colleagues in a procedure or relevant patient case. When we meet again for Module 3, you will receive a pre-programmed version of the scenario that you designed in Module 2. Module 3 is focused on the delivery of a high-quality simulation. This includes creating a safe learning environment, delivering an effective preparatory briefing, delivering a high-quality simulation, and delivering an effective debrief. We will constructively critique each other's scenarios to hone them to a point where you can actually implement them in your institution. Based on best practices, you will learn a highly effective but simple to use debriefing method. It's so simple that you may want to use it not only for debriefing in simulation, but across all of your curriculum and with your colleagues. Module four focuses on the outcomes of simulation how we can potentially measure and report on improved learning outcomes and how you can involve key stakeholders in ensuring the continued success of your programme. Much of the focus will be on how to plan for a successful implementation. Your fellow course participants and the instructors will help you identify potential barriers that must be dealt with in order for you to be successful in building an effective programme. NestLED is built to help you succeed in simulation. This is achieved by developing the competence of your faculty in the use of simulation. With financial support of the European Union, the partners have developed a highly effective programme. This is aimed at helping you get to early and sustainable success in utilising simulation to improve learning outcomes and ultimately improve patient outcomes. <laughs>